All right, guys, I'm back. So, engine's bolted down. I got to tighten up this dipstick, the bracket I forgot to tighten. So, let me do that really quick. Actually, I got a ratchet right down here. Stick that down there for right now. I'll pick it up in a bit. That noise you hear in the background, that's uh, my charger for the uh, Ingersoll Rand. Um, the battery went dead during the uh, installation of the engine bolts. Hey, what do you know? There's no oil. the open one first. Now, people are trying to say, use good quality oil. Well, You know, this is Sitco brand oil, basically. Bottled by Sitco. For Farm and Fleet. I don't want to hear any comments saying, hey, uh, you're pouring that oil wrong. Okay. <laughs> I just bought that funnel today. It's uh, going to go in a little kit that I'm going to use for... Uh, plowing snow. Every time I buy a funnel I lose one. Or I buy some because I lost others and yeah. Okay guys. Uh, we're gonna let that sit for a while and we're gonna continue putting other stuff back together. Well at least the choke, the throttle, what not, but uh, I gotta do something, so I'll be back uh, in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. So, now it's the throttle and the choke cable. That way, okay. That's the throttle. pull and get it locked in. Okay, so I have to do that.
So now the choke cable. I get that in there. And I gotta get the heat shield. To help keep the, uh, I'm not really sure why, but the design, but it's to help keep the, uh, um, yeah, the heat from the muffler from going into the fan area and getting sucked in. I think that's a bunch of crock, a bull. I had my 3.8. There it is. You know, when I was working up on the table, so I knew it was around here. Makeshift table, whatever you want to call it. Battery's done. Alright, I know what I have to do. That hole ain't lined up from bending up on it a little bit. Where did I do that? Okay, there's one. And it starts. Now this is kind of tricky to line everything up. But I did it. And it comes out. <laughs> Okay. That works, that works. Fuel line. Fish it into the back through its little hole, which is in the heat, uh, heat shield. Let's do the Terrell uh, trick. Of course. Yeah, that's going to be too... Uh, I need a Phillips. Of some sort. Oh, well, this one might work better anyway, and it's a flathead also, but <laughs> 
Where's my light? Okay, there it is. As clumsy as I am, uh, I went to Harbor Freight and bought this, and then I put a, uh, I bought the warranty on it. Because you gotta be able to see what you're doing. Sorry guys, my head is in the way. wasn't on but I couldn't okay guys let me think for a second let me find a a Phillips oh I didn't find a uh, Phillips but I found this it's a Torx I mean, I know I have Phillips all over the place, but stopping and searching because, yeah, I mainly use a multi-tool Phillips. That's the reason why it's so hard for me to find one. You're in the way. Just like that. For you guys who are not familiar with twin cylinders, or at least as opposed to twins, uh, a lot of the manufacturers have it to where the fuel line runs through it on these. MTD, they like to wrap the fuel line around on the right hand side, around the head up there. But, yeah. All depends on what you own though. This is a AYP based machine. American Yard Products.
just right on the money just about. Clutch is, uh, pushed. Yeah, as you can see, the snow is melting right now, but... Uh, changing here shortly. Well, I went to hit the key and nothing. Some dummy forgot to hook the starter up. It's just one nut. Come on. Why ain't you wanting to start?
like to know what the hell that tweak is. It's been doing it since I got it. 